Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physios Healing Touch. So today I have covered case assessment of Duchenne muscular dystrophy DMD. So in starting of any assessment, first you have to write the general information about that patient like his name, gender, age and if you are writing socio-economic condition, you can also write the grades of Kupu Swami scale to make your assessment more informative. Now, as the patient is a child, so the informant is mother because child cannot come up in your clinic and say, I have this, this symptoms and now treat me. So this is the mother who was complaining about all those symptoms. So in chief complaints start as mother complains that or if there is adult patient, then you can write patient complains that and chief complaint will be always in patient's language. So it will be in layman words like difficulty in walking, getting up from, from the floor. But in the present history, you have to write in medical terms and you have to give more detailed information about those symptoms. Now in past history, you have to write is there any history of medical illnesses that is relevant to the present history. If it is not relevant, then you can just write no relevant past history. In family history, you have to see is there any family member who is also affected with the same disease. Now next important part is posture evaluation. You have to look front, lateral and posterior view and detect if there is any problem from head to toe. In case you don't know how to evaluate posture, I have already uploaded one video for the same. You can go and check it out. Now in gait assessment, the patient was performing tip-toe walking. So now if he is walking on toes, then of course there will be no heel strike. So heel strike was absent, but toe off was present because he is walking on toes. And in gait, you can also write other things like cadence, step length, step height, timing. To make your assessment more informative now on palpation previous was on observation so you don't have to touch the patient you just have to observe the patient now it is on palpation now you can touch the patient so you can check the temperature edema by tape measurement or spasm tenderness all these things you can check on palpation now on examination first you have to write the cognitive functions in DMD patients, there is no such deterioration seen in cognitive functions. That's why he was awake, alert, his language was also fine, he was oriented and no problem in attention and memory as well. The cranial nerves was also normal, so all the cranial nerves was normal. Now the sensory evaluation, so every time you have to check the superficial deep and higher cortical sensations. In DMD patients, sensations are usually normal, but the main problem lies in muscles. So there will be defect in strength, power, range of motion, which you have to write. So now in range of motion evaluation, you can see all the ranges are decreased from the normal. One thing to note is in knee flexion, I have written in active range of motion 5 to 60 degree. This is because of the weakness of quadriceps. So the starting position was 5 degree of knee extension and the ending position was 60 degrees of knee flexion. But you can see in passive range of motion, there was no such lack present because in this, the therapist is doing movements checking movements so there is no active role of patient now the reflexes will be diminished and of course the MMT you have to take the MMT and it will be reduced because there is progressive muscle atrophy and weakness so the grades of the MMT will be reduced Now as there is atrophy going on, so you have to check the girth because it is really important in DMD patients. So the girth will be reduced from normal. Now functional assessment, so North Star Ambulatory Assessment Scale is so good assessment scale to assess the functions of the DMD patients. So whenever you are writing case assessment of DMD, never forget to write the scale.
so this is it for now and hope it helped you in writing your assessments so i hope you have subscribed to my channel physios healing touch see you in my next video